Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope you guys are doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Uh, so today's message is titled, Coronavirus Global Pandemic and the New World Order Agenda. So let's talk about the elephant in the room right now. Everybody's talking about it. And you can see now with the World Health Organization officially declaring the coronavirus a global pandemic that we're seeing even more of a, a fear and a panic going on, you know, amongst the world. Now, I was at work yesterday, and, and of course, you know, everybody's talking about this, even before it was officially declared a pandemic. But I'm sitting at work yesterday, and then people are, I hear people talking in their offices, and saying, did you hear, did you hear? You know, it's now it's a, it's a pandemic. Uh, you know, World Health Organization, this was a, an article from yesterday, officially designates coronavirus as global outbreak explodes. And if you look at it, guys, it is, I mean, it's amazing to see how fast this thing is spreading. And to be honest with you, it probably should have been declared a pandemic a couple weeks ago. We see what's going on right now in Italy, especially. But, you know, I've been saying ever since this thing started spreading across the globe. And it's spreading like wildfire, make no mistake about it. It's absolutely spreading like wildfire. But I've been saying from the beginning... But there's one word I can think of when I when I think of what's going on right now with the coronavirus, and it's agenda. There is absolutely, when you look deep into this, there is absolutely an agenda going on here. And it all goes back to the globalists and the new world order agenda. I know several people that are in uh, healthcare um, that I actually I'm close with, and I'll never disclose who it is. But I've been talking with uh, many of them over the last few days in the hospitals they work at. And what I can tell you guys is this. The next few weeks are absolutely critical in terms of containing this thing. And life as we know it is going to change drastically here in the, uh, the coming weeks. Um, but going back to, in a, and let me bring this up. You know, there's a lot of people, uh, before this thing started, you know, spreading in the United States, which it is drastically spreading here now, um, people were saying, oh yeah, it's not going to have an impact here. And I said, oh, you, you really think that? And then, you know, it's, it's been, again, spreading like wildfire. And now, as we can see in the United States, it's having an impact on everyday life. I mean, this was the first thing I woke up to this morning. Coronavirus fears hit fever pitch amid new travel ban, which Trump just declared yesterday. Pandemic sends Wall Street, the NBA, and Hollywood reeling. Wall Street, in terms of the stocks, I mean, the stock market is, we're just seeing it continuing to, to completely plummet. And I think the Dow, uh, last time I checked, is projected to open today, dropping another at least 11, uh, 1,100 points. Uh, and I said from the beginning, guys, that again, there's an agenda and we're going to get to it. Um, but they want, I believe this is pushing us closer to a, a co complete collapse. The NBA just had a player uh, on the Utah Jazz, I believe it was, that tested positive for the coronavirus. And yesterday, they suspended the season until further notice. Hollywood, I know um, Tom Hanks and his wife are in Australia. They just tested positive for the coronavirus. Um, so like I've been saying... Uh, especially here in the United States, life as we know it in the next few weeks, it is going to change. <clears throat> Make no mistake about it. And you look at some of the footage coming out of Italy right now on a complete lockdown the country. 
You know, it's like some other countries over in Europe, they're right near that level as well, as this thing continues to explode. Um, but let's get back to the agenda here. Let's get back to the agenda. We know that there's an agenda by the globalists in the coming new world order to depopulate a cashless society, a global government. Um, and that's exactly what I believe this is pushing us closer to. Things must get chaotic. There must be a complete collapse and downfall in order for a new world order, a global government, a cashless society, and for the Antichrist to rise up. Because the Antichrist in the new world order system, there's gonna be, they're going to make order out of chaos. So none of this that's going on right now should surprise us. So yes, the coronavirus, it is very real. And it is killing people. Absolutely. And it should be taken serious. But the fear that's coming into this and what the media is projecting and the hype, a lot of the hype that's going on, there is an agenda to it. Absolutely. And one of the reasons, and I've stated it several times, that I believe that there's absolutely an agenda here is going back to where this thing originated in Wuhan. When they came out and said that this thing most likely came from bat soup or another animal, you know, and started in a seafood market in Wuhan. But when you started looking deeper into it and you saw that there's a level four virus lab in Wuhan where the epicenter of the coronavirus, where this all started, where they actually have coronaviruses and SARS in a biological weapons lab right there in Wuhan. Is that a coincidence? I don't believe so at all. No, when you look deep into this, you will see there is an agenda here. And again, we know what the globalist agenda is. Depopulation, cashless society, global government. And I believe what we're seeing right now is pushing us right in that direction. So I've shared my opinion before and you don't have to agree with it, but when you look deep into this, I think it's pretty clear that this was a man-made biological weapon that is out right now, again, with a reason. And it's all part of the globalist agenda. Another reason I believe you can tell this is all part of the globalist, the New World Order agenda is because we know during the seven year tribulation period that there's going to be a cashless society. We know in Revelation chapter 13, we see, you know, during the tribulation period, there's going to be the mark of the beast system that's going to come about. Again, it's going to be a cashless society. And I believe right now we're seeing a push toward that cashless society. I'll share with you some recent articles um, that why I believe, you know, where this is headed. Here's one from, from Zero Hedging article titled, Federal Reserve to Quarantine Dollars from Asia on COVID-19 Transmission Concerns. Here's another one from The Australian, an article titled, Cashless Payments Help Stop Spread of Coronavirus. And this one kind of sums it up right here, I believe, from the Business Insider. Cash could be spreading the coronavirus, warns the World Health Organization. You know, they've, they've came out and said that it can survive on paper and, you know, on, on cash for a few days. And now you're starting to see a lot of different countries that are considering making, you know, moves here. Um, to switch to cashless options. And I look at all this, and I'm thinking, wow, this thing was per most, I believe, man-made biological weapon that was released in the epicenter where they have a level four virus lab. Um, they're talking about it spreading on cash. And look at what it's doing, the fear that it's instilling across the world, the panic people are in. You can totally see when you look deep into this that there's a deeper agenda. I was actually talking to a guy at work yesterday 
And he said, something doesn't seem right with all this. Why didn't they freak out about this with, you know, with, with the flu and other things? Like, why is it with the coronavirus? And he's looking at it, he's like, there's something else going on here. And people see it, and, and you know, but there's a fear factor here. But it's feeding right into the globalist agenda. Yes, the coronavirus is killing people. And in the coming days and weeks, there's going to be even more of an explosion of cases and deaths. Yes, absolutely there will be. And it's horrible. Absolutely it is. But we're told we're not to fear in the Bible. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, again, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So in the coming days and weeks, as more cases come, especially in the United States and other places in the world, um, and events are canceled and major sporting seasons are put on suspension, and the world kind of, especially in the United States where I am, as people continue to kind of go into a fear mode, we are not to fear, guys. Those of us that know the truth and the truth has set us free, we're to show the love of Christ and we're not to be in a panic. Because we know that these things are supposed to happen. Jesus told us very specifically when his disciples asked him on the Mount of Olives, what would be the signs of your coming and the end of the age, referring to his second coming, which is at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. One of the things Jesus told them in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes, in diverse places. So these things are, are supposed to happen and it's going to get a whole lot worse during the seven year tribulation period. The seals have not been opened yet. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, they're talking about this thing in the end of the world. No, the world is not ending. Billions of people are not going to die from the coronavirus. Yes, more. there's going to be more deaths and Yes, it can get pretty ugly here in the days and weeks ahead, but during the tribulation period, we see that, there, you know, billions are going to die from the judgments that are going to be poured out during the tribulation period. So what we're seeing now, we're not in the tribulation period. The seals have not been opened, but what I believe we're seeing right now is, again, it's feeding into the whole globalist agenda of a coming cashless society and a global government, a new world order. But you see the fear that's going on right now. Again, this coronavirus, especially since the World Health Organization has officially declared it a global pandemic. And now you're starting to see a lot of people, a lot more of the fear uh, picking up. And it reminds me of what's recorded in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25 to 28. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. But I look at verse 26 here. Men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. You know, again, we are not in the tribulation period yet. In the book of Matthew 24 and the book of Luke 21 here, this is referring to the things that will precede his second coming at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. But it says that men's hearts are going to be failing them for fear, looking after those things which are coming on the earth. It kind of reminds me of what's going on now. You see people in kind of like a fear and a panic mode on the things that are, you know, on what's going on now. But it's going to get a whole lot worse. And what you see on the screen right there, I've done a video on this a couple weeks ago talking about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Um, we're not in the tribulation period yet. The seals have not been opened. 
the church that's raptured, Jesus is going to rapture his church prior to the seals being opened. We're in heaven when the Lamb opens the first seal. But when you look in the book of Revelation chapter 6, you'll see a description of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The rider on the white horse representing the Antichrist, who's going to go forth to conquer and present a false peace. The next horseman, the red horse, represents the horse of war and bloodshed. And what usually follows war and bloodshed? Famine and pestilence. The black horse is representative of uh, famine in the Bible. And the death, the uh, pale rider, the, the, the uh, rider on the pale horse, representative of death. So the famine, the war, the pestilence that is to come during the tribulation period is going to be a whole lot worse than what we're seeing right now. So the bottom line to all of this, it all goes back to the title of this video, Coronavirus, Global Pandemic, and the New World Order Agenda. And like I said, I know several people that work in hospitals, and I've been talking with them, expect life, especially here in the United States, but in other places in the world, is going to change, change drastically here in the next few weeks. Life as we know it. And we see what this is doing to the stock market, especially in the United States. Uh, but we know that there's going to be a crash. Things must go south. The economy, There must be a worldwide collapse in order for this new world order to come forth. Now, I've stated before, I believe the rapture of the church is going to be the great collapse. That's going to be the trigger that sets forward the new world order and the Antichrist to come forward. But we're seeing right now the agenda very clearly, the push using this coronavirus, pushing us closer to a cashless society, a global government, and a new world order. It's very clear when you deep into, look deep into this what this is all about. No, the coronavirus is not going to wipe out humanity. This is not the end of the world. But there's an agenda when you look deep into this. In the coming days and weeks, as coronavirus cases continue to skyrocket, I look at Italy and I see that they're in a complete quarantine, a complete lockdown. In other countries in Europe, it looks like they're pretty short. You know, that's coming in the days and weeks ahead. Could this happen in the United States in the days and weeks ahead? Absolutely. I hope not. I hope it's contained here. But as cases continue to explode across the world in the coming days and weeks as deaths continue to climb up, we're not to fear, guys. We're to remember that there's an agenda here. There's a globalist agenda. There's a new world order agenda here to push us closer to a cashless society, depopulation, and a coming global government. We need to use whatever time we have left because we know that Jesus is going to rapture his church prior to the seven-year tribulation period starting. And if we already see there's an agenda here to push us closer to that cashless society and this global, coming global government that's going to be ran by the Antichrist and the false prophet during the seven-year tribulation period, how much closer are we, guys, to our redemption? Let us not fear. Let us not be in a panic. Those of us that know the truth and the truth that set us free, we are children of the light. This is our time to rise up. And as we see people we know, we care about, we love, kind of in a panic or trying to figure out what in the world's going on, let us be there to tell them that this is all in the Bible. Jesus foretold these times that we're in. And let us not cease to teach and preach Jesus. This is a huge witnessing time for us, guys. Let us tell people that Jesus is coming soon. It's time for them right here, right now, to repent, to believe the gospel, and to be converted to new life in Jesus Christ today. Let us tell them that today is the day of salvation, that Jesus Christ is the only one that can save them, and he is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and that today it's time for them to become a new creature in Christ it's time for them today to put their full faith and trust in Jesus' blood. For them to believe with all of their heart that Jesus is who he says he is, the Son of the living God, him and him alone, no other name, that he's the one that died for their sins, was buried, 
and rose from the dead on the third day because tomorrow is not promised. But we can very clearly see when we look deep into this that this coronavirus global pandemic right now is pushing us closer to a cashless society, a global government, and a coming new world order. Keep watching with me. Keep looking up. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is coming soon. God bless you guys.